Hello, welcome to my craft room. My name is Deanna Gonzalez and I just wanted to show you um, a fun tool that I end up using all of the time. Now, when I first started crafting, years and years ago, um, I, I went to a place where um, you pay you know, a certain amount of money and they teach you a class. And they had this very small little guillotine and they would, they would you know, shape the little pictures a certain way, you know, the, the cardstock and everything, but it was very, very tiny. Now this thing I thought was so amazing. I was like, that's so crazy awesome, oh, I want one. But at the time I couldn't afford one, so I didn't get one. And then over time I found a sale on a, Liz a little Fiskars, you know, little one. It's, it's kind of like this one where you've got the little sliders. And I, um, I found that, first of all, this plastic thing over time would snap off. It would just be broken. And without this to hold it in place and, and obviously slide the thing, it wasn't really worth much to me. I couldn't really use it for anything. So um, I quickly found that this was a very expensive, these were kind of expensive cutters for me. I was constantly, but, but then again, I mean, if you're a casual crafter, something like this is going to be just fine for every use. Um, but if you craft on a regular basis, I was making cards like crazy. Um, they were great gift ideas. Sometimes I would sell them through um, my mother-in-law when she would go to, to work. You know, um, the girls liked them there, so they would buy my cards, and that's how I was trying to start, you know, um, collecting crafting tools. And, um, but I found that this was, the cutter was becoming a big problem for me. And I did buy a huge guillotine at one point, but because it was cheaper, it was plasticky, it, w it wasn't really um, doing what I needed it to do. Plus, it's a little dangerous having this huge knife, you know, with the Deanna and you're a big, huge, yeah, not the best plan. So, um, these, I, I wouldn't say don't ever get a cutter like this because um, this is fantastic for all those little, the little slices, or if you are just a casual crafter, this is perfect because you've got the cut and the emboss, and, or, you know, it, it scores, is what I mean, not emboss, I'm sorry, I mean, it's embossing a line so you can fold it well, but, you know, anyway, I, I wouldn't say don't ever get one of these, but, you know, I, I would say, th this for me is a secondary cutter, it's not the most important, it, it cuts the little things. My most important cutter, my husband found. He went looking online. He he was. I I had bought a really big rotary um, cutter. Had been my last one, and on a really good sale. It was still really expensive. And my husband was like, like, there's got to be something better. There has to be something better than this cutter. Like these kinds of cutters that you're going through like crazy. that keep breaking, you know. Um, and, and you're replacing the blades all the time. So he found this industrial cutter and it, the blade itself, oh, sorry about that. The blade itself, um, it sharpens itself as it's going back and forth. Um, it cuts lots and lots of, of papers. You can shove a bunch in. You um, line it up with this, this is a magnetic-y little stick and you just slap it on this little bar and it can go up and down so that you can find the perfect thing. But as I said, the downside is this only goes up to like one and three fourths. That's the smallest you're going to get and even so the bar isn't quite that secure here as you can see. So it's hard to get the perfect cut when you're doing something smaller. Whereas um, this I find works really really well for that. But the other thing that is awesome about this. Now let's say we're going to go to five and a half and cut a card. The cut, the cut is beautiful, right? If you if you do this cut, I'm hoping you'll be able to see the the edge difference here. Let me get this going the right way. That might help. <laughs> so now I'm gonna cut this edge. This one, it's, it, it, it kind of sticks up here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not a clean cut. This is a clean cut. There's absolutely, I mean, it's the most beautiful cut ever. <laughs> There's no funny bump up. There's no weird edge or distortion. It's a gorgeous cut. Now this I've had for so many years that I honestly don't even know when my husband bought it for me. I, 
it is years and years old. I, I really don't know how old it is. Um, and it is still cutting as beautiful as it did when I first bought it. Um, and like I said, I mean, it can cut through many, many pieces, um, you know, really well. And you're going to get the beautiful cut every time you do it. So, um, they all have this gorgeous edge. No funny pop-up like this one did right here from, from this. Just the beautiful, the beautiful cut. So, if you want precision cuts and you don't ever want to have to keep um, replacing, you know, parts of your cutting thing, um, I would definitely suggest getting one of these. They are definitely an investment. They are not really, really, really cheap. Um, if I remember correctly, and I could be extremely wrong, I think it's about a hundred something dollars, like 170 something, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to look this up, I'm going to ask my husband exactly where he got it. I'm pretty sure he got it on Amazon, but I'm not quite sure. Um, this says Dale, D-A-H-L-E 550, um, but I don't know if that's exactly the company, you know, how you find it. So um, I will have a link um, on my website showing you how to find one of these. Um, but um, the, I really advise if you're a hardcore crafter, not not if this is something you do like um, maybe 10, 20 cards in a year or something, this will be just fine. This is if you end up making stuff on a regular basis. Once a week you're making stuff. Um, if you do crops where you're cutting lots of things all at once um, as a demonstrator or just a hobbyist or you know whatever you're doing you're gonna want something that that stays really good and has the perfect clean cut edges and like I said I've never had to replace this never had to replace anything on this nothing has broken off of this thing it is really amazing you can also um, there's a thing here so you could actually screw this into your wall I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that maybe it's for maybe maybe there's a bigger understanding that I just don't have of this but anyway that's my my little tidbit about cutting machines. Um, please do not be discouraged if you have bought something at Michael's at a seriously big discount or the Stampin' Up! Cutter or any of these other ones. Um, I do think that the Stampin' Up! one, if you're going to get one of these, is great because you can actually buy the replacements of these. Um, and that I found, these things tend to break. But if you, if you find... Um, also, Stampin' Up! has this new ro rotary one that you can put in here. You can probably take this out. So if this breaks, it's probably not as big of a deal as the old ones I used to have that would break and that was over. Um, but I do still advise um, for the best cuts, I would, I would go for this. And if you want little cuts, as long as your paper is long enough, because see, once you start getting... Let's cut this to here. Alright, let's try to get this paper out. Once you have it this thin, now how are you going to get that one inch, you know? It's not going to work very well. You can press on this plastic the best you can, kind of measure it, you know, out the inch the best you can, and then and then go for it and hope that it was accurate, you know? Um, but I definitely would suggest for the littlest things, for easy, non-fret cutting one of the smaller, one of the smaller cutting machines. So I hope that helps give you an idea of some of the cutting an idea of cutting machines. I don't know. I had a really hard time figuring all this stuff out. Um, lots of trial, error, tears, saving up money, <laughs> all of it. Um, but I was very impressed with this uh, this cutting machine, and I wanted to share that with you. So, um, if you you know have the the finances, you can do this or save up for this. Um, it's definitely worth the price. And as I said, I mean, I I don't know how old this is. <laughs> My guess would be, you know, five, six, seven, eight years. I, I honestly don't know. Um, it's very old, <laughs> and I love it. So, anyway, uh, come back uh, to my craft room and come and craft with me sometime. And, you know, uh, come in and see some of my other tool ideas uh, that I'm, I'm going to share with you over time. And some storage ideas. I, I've got all these ideas floating in my head, and I cannot wait to share them with you. And, and just have a good time with you, um, letting you know, you know, uh, what things I find and, and, and have a good time using and what things might be a little discouraging, not quite as exciting, uh, because I think that helps. Um, anyway, so thank you for joining me. I hope you'll come back and have some fun with me. I right, have a great night. Bye.